Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to configure your FTP and that means file transfer protocol to be able to transfer files from your developers PC onto your I mean onto your server okay and so to do that you log into your client zone control panel and click on the hosting tab now what we're gonna do is just choose your domain name uh, go to website manager and in this case we're gonna reset the password okay because we haven't actually set the password before um, so all we gotta do is reset it and then it's gonna give us a new password and we're gonna take this password we're just gonna copy it as it is and there you can see also is the username your username might be different than mine but it's just important to keep note of that just copy your password press OK go into website manager that takes you into the C panel okay that's the control panel that we're used to don't know why it's taking so long once you have gained access to your C panel all you have to do is go to password and security paste your old password and uh, why they're not matching is an issue but once they match and once uh, it's strong and secure just go to change password this will redirect you in which case you have to enter a new password well I've already entered mine or so there you go okay well now I'm here again and um, what I can do now is I can actually uh, open this program called FileZilla you can use either Core FTP or FileZilla I prefer to use FileZilla uh, which is which is called an FTP client and can easily be downloaded and installed onto a Windows PC we, we now show you how to use the FTP client click on file then site manager here we can save the FTP authentication information for sites maintained so what you gotta do is type in the host in my case it's the domain name that I've chosen before it'll be port 21 okay um, then you will also have to type the user your username can be obtained from your Athreos profile which we've created in tutorial 1 and uh, yours will just appear differently and then I've just pasted the new password well actually I should probably type the new password because I don't think it um, it pasted the old one and you're gonna have to type your password in here as well and then when you press connect it'll ask you for a certificate validation or whatever you just press OK you can you can probably tick those boxes always trust the certificate if you want to take note of the server name on this certificate which also appears in the URL of your browser while you are logged into your C panel as website administrator this should now once I've connected show you a bunch of files these files are the same files and a couple of uh, hidden files that you would find on your ordinary C panel. Just take note of this public underscore HTML file, which is the one where we uh, dump all our website content. So I'm just going to double click that, open it, and show you that this is the same index file which we previously edited. I'm just going to edit it again. It's going to open it in my br um, my code editor of choice, and there you have a little echo hello world. That is the same file that we edited in the C panel during tutorial one. This lesson. So all you gotta do now is once you are ready to transfer your files from an, an already existing folder. In this case, I'm gonna just pick this last project I've been working on. I'm gonna take all these documents and I wanna dump them in here. I'm just literally, quite literally, gonna do that. I'm gonna take all this, and in fact, I'm first gonna delete this index file take all those documents I'm gonna throw them in here and I'm just gonna let it go I can even close that one okay and I'm just gonna let the FileZilla do its job there it's running it might take quite a while depending on how big your website files are so I'm just going to fast forward the video until all my files have been uploaded successfully
Okay, once the files have finished transferring, if you reload the browser, it should now show your new website. There you have your new website. Okay, so in my case, it's just rendering a bit slow, but everything's there. Well, obviously at this point, it's not configured to connect to the database. So if I try and log in with something that I already know is my password, it's not going to allow me because, you know, uh, this was the previous database password and, uh, you know, database inf credentials that are no longer relevant in this website. So because I've chosen, I've changed the domain name in any ways. So I have to go and configure all of that, which I'll show you in the next list.